Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we're gonna do a little analysis of the Vancouver Pro 2024, and right off the bat, I'll just say it, this is not the best show of the year, I mean, it's probably the worst one. I know some of you will ask why am I so negative, I'm just being honest, I'm calling it as it is, when a show is awesome, I say it's an awesome show, but this one, it's really not that. But it's a pro show, whoever wins is going to the Mr. Olympia, that's most likely gonna be John Jewett, you're gonna see why. But whoever wins, even though they're going to the best bodybuilding competition in the world, Mr. Olympia, they are still not battling for that top 10, let's be real here. But then again, it's really awesome to see that John Jewett, even though he was 212 competitor last year, this year he made some really good progress, and he's probably pulling a win here and qualifying for the Mr. Olympia in the Open. So that's an amazing story here. However, we got a surprise, and that's Beef Stew, who is not even top 4. He's most likely 5th here, deservedly so. I don't know what happened to this guy, he was awesome at the New York Pro, and after that, his conditioning, I don't know, like here, it looks, it looks washed up. There are no details, he looks smooth, soft, I don't know what happened, but this is not a very good Beef Stew. And he doesn't deserve to place any higher than 5th here. Also, Stanimal, who was 2nd last year, this year, he's not even in the top 6. Why is that? Well, the same issue like last year. You guys know that this guy was a man's physique competitor, then a classic competitor, then a 212 competitor, and eventually he switched to the open. And, you know, he's okay, but the other guys are just so much bigger. He is definitely by far more aesthetic than all of them, combined, <laughs> really. But, you know, he's not big. He's not big enough. He needs to get much, much bigger. And I was watching his off-season this year. He was basically shredded the entire year. He had glute striations the entire year. And I knew when you're super lean like that, it was a little bit too much. You can't make that much progress. You need to bulk up. Let's be honest here, guys. So, in the middle here, we had John Jewett and Tim Budesheim. Those guys are top two for sure. They were also putting Robin Strand in that top two. I mean, they were comparing him to Tim Budesheim, but I think they decided that Tim is gonna be second here, which is also kind of a surprise. I mean, he was, like, on social media at least, talked about as one of the top guys, like, as one of the good guys. But at all previous shows this year, he placed very, very low. And this time around, he's in the top two. Again, it's not a very strong show, not a very good lineup. But still, in the top two at a pro show, it's still very good for him. And also on the far right, we got this guy, Hussein Kalate. That's how you pronounce his name. He's gonna be fourth here. Now, let's focus on this first call out. And as you can see, John Jewett is probably looking the most dominant here in the front double. But also, Tim Budesheim is looking very good. Like, his legs are probably a little bit thicker, maybe even harder, but his waist is not the smallest. And, like, his arms, the biceps, look at John's biceps, they're peaky as hell. So this pose is close between these two guys. Robin Strand here doesn't look very good to me in the front double. Uh, his biceps look like they're torn. I don't know if that's just the shape of his biceps, but his biceps look like the torn bicep of Dorian Yates, both of them. And the Hussein guy, he's looking good in this one, probably better than Robin Strand, but in the other poses, not so much. You're gonna see the other poses as well. Uh, John Jewett was conducting himself on the stage very, very professionally. He was really holding the poses, and look, he looked like he was enjoying it, while Tim was struggling to hold the poses. He was sweating profusely, like, the entire time, especially later, as the, as the rounds went on, so he wasn't really in contention to win this show, if you ask me. John Jewett definitely did enough, in my opinion, at least. And also, based on the way the judges were moving them, it looks like John Jewett is gonna win it. As far as front last spread, also very close between Tim and John. Maybe this one I would give to Tim, honestly. But I like uh, John Jewett's sweet taper here better. But Tim's lower body looks better. The other two guys, I think Hussein actually looks better than Robin. But, you know, the way the judges are moving them, it looks like it's gonna be Robin in third. Now, as far as the side chest pose, muscularity, conditioning, details, hardness, it's very close between John and Tim. But I like John more because he's really pulling that stomach in. He's really controlling his midsection and just his, uh, his physique is flowing better because of that. Tim is letting it go, it looks like his waist looks much, much thicker. So this one, it's easy for me, John, for sure. And as for third, again, Hussein, in my opinion, not Robin Strand. They moved Robin, actually, they put him in the middle for a moment, instead of uh, Tim. So they weren't comparing Robin to Hussein, they were actually comparing Robin to John or to Tim. 
So based on that, it looks like Robin is gonna be third, but I don't see how, honestly. Maybe it's different in person, but on this live stream, it definitely looks like uh, Hussein is third here, at least for me, I don't know about you guys. Alright, now they're facing the curtain, or actually, the LED screen, and now they're showing us their backs, and this is where it becomes interesting. So, I think John Joyt improved his uh, back double bicep a lot, at least the way he was posing it. Now he really knows how to flex those terrace muscles, and I would say the lats as well. So his Wii taper from behind, the X-frame, actually looks much better now, with the way he's flexing the back, the way he's posing. And Tim is not exactly doing that, like his back looks very flat, like he, his shoulder width and his waist width is pretty much the same. You know, there is no pop in the lats, and that's why I don't like him in this pose at all. Honestly, I have all the other guys beating him here, and I definitely do have Hossein beating Robin Strand here, even Tim. Look at his back. It's probably the best back here, in the back double at least. We're gonna see back lats, but in a moment, but... As far as the back double, I like his the most, probably. Maybe he doesn't have the deepest separation in the glutes, but the back itself, I think it's, it's. I think this pose overall is just really good. I mean, let's say John is the best because of his glute separation and hamstrings, like overall conditioning, but the back itself, Hussein all day. So, yeah, I don't know how Robin is going to beat him, but I think that's going to happen. John Jewett really improved that back, like his back looks massive, I mean the lats are super wide, super thick, and as he's transitioning it looks even crazier, but in the back lat spread, I think he's winning this one, and now I can see why Robin Strand might beat Hossein, it's because of the conditioning, like I said in the previous pose, like in the back poses, his glutes and hamstrings are looking kind of watery, they're not deeply separated, and Robin, like he has good separation in the hamstrings and the glutes as, as well, uh, but Hussein guy has a lot of muscle and really good shape as well. So if he was in better conditioning, maybe he would be battling against John here. But yeah, I can see the glutes are not super shredded. So yeah, but that's probably why he's gonna lose here to Robin Strand. But top four still is pretty good. Now as far as uh, Tim versus John, again the same thing. Tim is opening up better in the back lat spread, but still the way taper doesn't look as good as John. So yeah, it's John all day here. Not just because of the weed taper, but also the details of the back, the thickness of the lats, the conditioning of the upper and lower body. Robin Strand actually looks very good in the in the back lat spread. So I can see some reasons why he maybe should be compared to Tim. Uh, as far as the side tricep, yeah, this one, ah, not very good for either of these guys. They are all looking pretty bad. John Jewett's midsection doesn't look very good in this one. It kind of reminds me of Phil Heath a little after he had all his hernia surgeries. So I don't know what's the problem here. If he can learn how to control that, he would do better. But yeah, the midsection not looking very, very aesthetic. The other guys, I mean, none of them are looking very good in this one. I mean, Tim probably looks the best here. Though it's not going to be enough for him to win this show. To play second, however, sure. Sure, that's going to happen. As far as the abs and ties, also like not exactly the, the, the best uh, lineup for this pose. I mean, look at Robin Strand. What the hell is going on with those abs? Like, how does one have a stomach like this? Unless they had like three hernia surgeries, like Phil Heath, what else could be an excuse? I mean, is he even training his midsection? Like, there are no abs visible, it just looks like a mess. This was happening pretty often in bodybuilding up until recently, but recently they started punishing guys for this. So we see much better midsection lately, and it's been a while since I saw this bad of a midsection the first call out at a show. So, not very good. And then also look at his quads, and then compare them to Hossein's quads. And also compare the midsections. Just the entire pose, abs and thighs. I know that Hossein's uh, lower body is not super conditioned from behind, but I would give him a win over Robin here. I don't see why wouldn't he beat him, I and mean, it's not enough just lacking a few separation in the glutes and hamstrings, is that really enough here? Compare these two guys. I hope they're gonna compare them in the finals, one next to another, so you can see exactly what I'm talking about, because I don't think this is fair. I think Hussein should place higher. John Jewett's midsection is also not the most aesthetic one, not the most pleasing one to look at, but here he's doing something with it, he's doing this variation, and so he's hiding a lot of his weak points, and he's doing a very good job with that. This pose, this variation of pose is acceptable. However, Tim is definitely looking the best in this pose, but he's trouble, he has trouble holding the pose. He is not looking very comfortable in this absent eyes. He looked uncomfortable in many poses, and John was really a master of presentation here. But yeah, Tim wins this one, so it's not a very clear win for John. 
team is pushing him for sure he's winning some poses but overall overall impression is that yeah john is winning it he wasn't moved from the center but again it's close as we move on as you see more poses it's closer and closer look at his most muscular tim is looking really good in his most muscular really thick that's his pose that's his best pose He's showing some crazy thickness, some crazy density and conditioning as well in the chest, shoulders, arms, even abs are looking very good, quads too. So yeah, he's winning this one for sure. As far as Hossein and Robin Strand, be my guest, you tell me who wins this one, I have no idea, honestly. Hossein has better quads, but the way he's posing, the way he's doing this pose, it's not very good. Probably Robin wins this one because he's just doing a better job with posing here. And yeah, by the way, Hassan Mustafa didn't even show up. Why? Well, it's obviously because his conditioning is not ready. He needs another like eight weeks from now, minimum, to, you know, be in actual contest condition. I don't know what he was thinking doing the Toronto Pro looking like that. I mean, that's just my guess. He didn't say anything about not doing this show as far as I know. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. You guys tell me, what do you think? Who is winning this one? I think it's John Jewett. It's pretty pretty obvious, but whatever you think, tell me down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And thank you guys so much for watching. All the best. See you soon, and bye-bye.